Yo, what's up guys? Jamison Philippi here, hanging out at Rakens, about to come at you with another video. Yeah, we are live on Periscope right now. We are gonna fetch questions from Periscope. What up, Periscope? And ask me noob, easy questions. So yeah, give them to me, baby. Somebody asked, what are your thoughts about Inventory Lab and Scoutify? I think it is a must to use it, to have it and use it. Um, if you're early on and you don't have many items at the fulfillment center, I wouldn't worry about it. But once you start getting up into the, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500 items, I would definitely get it. Um, and I would definitely invest in a Dymo printer. Um, it's going to save you a lot of time as far as shipping goes, um, especially if you do live shipments, which that's what I do. Um, you'll know exactly what fulfillment center your items will go to, so you can, boom, label, box, be done. Touch the item one time and save time in the long run, because if you do it through Seller Central, you're touching the items two and three times before you box them up. How long do you wait to sell items that tanked due to clearance? That's from Trader64. Trader64, good question. Um, it really depends on the season, the type of item, the rank, how many sellers. Um, if I believe the item is going to rebound, then I will definitely wait it out. Um, I'm still working on it. It gets tough to wait it out sometimes when I could just boom, get the cash and move on to the next one. Um, but I like to go, if it's, if it's like a fast flip, like say Legos, for instance, obviously most Legos will rebound depending on what category, or what, you know, whether they're Chima or Friends or Elves or whatever they may be. Um, I try to wait it out. And especially, you know, with Christmas, fourth quarter's kind of right around the corner. Um, I'm going to start holding out because the prices will rebound pretty good, I think. Prince Paul on Periscope wants to know, and this is a really interesting question, where the white women at? a good question because if, if I knew Paul you would know <laughs> what's the best way to to um, market on Amazon or to advertise on Amazon the question was do you do any advertising I, I, I know people do the P, PPC um, but I it's like what is it pay-per-click it's called but I have not done it yet so I don't want to speak on that next really. question what's a good sourcing schedule for inventory per week Good sourcing schedule. If you're new, um, I recommend everybody do at least 50 items a week. Um, if you're still, you know, a couple months in, two, three months in, 50 items a week is not hard to find, and that's with little capital. If you only got 100 bucks, you could go to Goodwill and source 50 bucks a week easily, I believe. You know, if you put the time in. How do you price? Uh, how do you determine pricing match other sellers or nah? Question mark. Um, depending on like, say there's five sellers on this listing and they're priced at 20, 15, 10, five, just for, as an example. I might wait it out if there's that big a gap in the pricing. You know, if there's 100 sellers and they're all, 90 of them are at 49.99, then I'm gonna match 49.99. Um, obviously, if I have my repricer set up, my repricer's gonna beat them by a penny and their repricer's gonna beat me by a penny until we get down to zero. RY Bob 7 asks, how does Steve Rakin always have so much energy after spending a week with me? Um, cocaine? The Bonafide Hustler! <laughs> how do you know if the product is protected or patented? Or trademarked or patented? So maybe the question is like, do you ever get nervous about selling certain products? Um, I have not had any issues. No, I take that back. I've had one issue. Um, I bought some smartwatches at Target last year on clearance and the company contacted me not to sell them anymore, which actually I checked and I already sold out. So I deleted the list in, listing and then I responded, okay, I won't sell them anymore. And then boom, moved on and that was it. Um, that's the only experience I've had in that. Uh, someone asked, but do you check each seller's quantities on hand before pricing? Yes and no. Depends on if there's you know five sellers on the listing or you know 100 sellers on the listing. Um, I will if there's just a few sellers and the price is a nice jump after they sell it. I will check quantity. Um, Someone asked how long have you had your YouTube channel? I've had my YouTube channel for like a year, I think. <laughs> my, before these last couple of videos we did um, over at Steve's house, my last video was Black Friday and it was like one or two videos. They were very far in between. Somebody wants to know if you can put on the red nose. Ooh, that is a good question. Next question, someone was asking earlier, uh, what are some of your favorite stores to do RA? 7-Eleven, um, um, Cumberland, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, um, 
My favorite store is Target, for sure. Walmart, obviously. That's where everybody goes. Um, I really like Toys R Us. Toys R Us is actually my favorite, I think. Um, it's obviously, like, one of the big box stores everybody goes to, but not many go to as opposed to Target and Walmart's. What's the best scanning app out there in your opinion? In my opinion, I like the Amazon Seller app. You know, you're getting the info directly from Amazon opposed to Profit Bandits or Scoutify. Scoutify I do like for the eBay and Camel 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 function. Um, and it shows the ranks on shoes and clothing. But uh, the only thing I don't like Scoutify for is it does not show if the item is restricted. What's your favorite color underwear? <laughs> My favorite color underwear is no underwear. What third party software you use for bookkeeping? I'm using GoDaddy right now. GoDaddy bookkeeping? GoDaddy bookkeeping. How much come, does that cost? Coming with the hate comments. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, um, I, I like GoDaddy. I, I do too. I know. I, I've gotten a few. I'd rather have I've Stop gotten... Mommy, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, it is $9.99 a month. Um, but uh, yeah, we, uh, thank you guys for the questions. Love you, Periscope. Love you, YouTube. Please dislike, hate all my videos. Send as much hate as you can my way. Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Peace! I was gonna try to think of something funny to say, but I, I, I yeah. Oh, can you put the red rose on? Yeah, of course. You don't even have to ask. Bye!